Hey everyone, uh, Matt McMahon, H2O Plasma Plug. Um, like my like page below if you want to follow easier what I'm doing, because uh, YouTube isn't all that reliable when uh, it comes to uh, seeing who has done what. So, um, I put this black tape because I was trying to roll on the rim of this. I was trying to roll the, um, the disc on it and that didn't seem to work too well. It just ding, 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 ding. So, um, just skipping along, it didn't have a good, uh, good enough friction. So I'm gonna actually take this off. I got a hot glue gun on there and I'm waiting for a heat gun, uh, RPM gun, uh, and a few other things that I'll, I have mentioned in my previous video. So, um, what I wanna do in the meantime is get everything ready. So I have these uh, half inch, half inch by one inch uh, magnets that I also mentioned in my uh, previous update video. And so I'm going to take this off. I'll show you what it looks like when it's off. And then I'm going to start hot glue gunning these. But first I have to make the geometry on this. And I want it to be uh, obviously like Tesla divisible of by three. So um, I just have to figure out how I'm going to do that. Um, that's a divisible of eight, so that's not the best, but at least it's a 90 degree, two 90 degrees to go off of, so, um, yeah, we'll, uh, be back. So, got the black tape off, and, um, in case anybody's wondering why I'm not just buying a bike hub motor for, uh, that, um, which would fix the bearing, it would fix everything. It's because I actually want to try it on a smaller level. Um, I've priced it out for a front and rear uh, hub motor kit without the batteries, and that's going to cost a thousand dollars, and that's with the controllers and everything. So, um, uh, so yeah, I have to uh, try with something easier first, something smaller, um, work through the problems. And uh, I think that this isn't going to work. I'm going to think that I may have spent all this time uh, on this and watch it not work. But what I want to do, um, if this doesn't work, is I'm going to, and I think I, yeah, I did mention it in my other video, but I do want to reiterate that. Um, this motor goes in here. So what I'm going to end up having is it's going to stick out you know, say it's in the center, and what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to put another motor and have um, have these um, sections attached, so I just hope that this is just going to work, um, but it is two motors in one, and I don't know how that's going to react, and I'm assuming it's probably not going to react good, but at least I'll find out and I'll know, so uh, I'll be back. i got to do the geometry, I'll show you that in a minute. So what I noticed here when I set it up is that it actually does have some of the same geometry. So what this is is technically three fours. What I what I got to figure out is how to how to get to this point and that point, which it's roughly that. How to measure that out properly. So I'll I'll just mess around with uh, some measurements and figure it out. So just showing you the process. All right, so what I've figured out here is I took my veneers, and I'll show you where I did it first. Hopefully you can see the, the all the scratches. So, so what I did is I kept taking my veneers and spacing them out. I knew that I had, um, I knew that I had a point here and a point here, which was at, you know, the 90 degrees, I just had to figure out the 30 and the 60. So I just kept measuring until I got the right size, and now uh, every point is landing up on each one. So... You can see that I've got this one and this one marked out for the, the two that are going in here. So that'll mean I'll get my 12 poles and uh, so yeah I'm just gonna finish this up. And I noticed something weird happening. If you look at my magnets they're 
all pushed together really weird. It's really unusual the way how they're sort of pushed apart. And it did something weird. So I'll back up, and you're not going to believe how far this magnetic force. So, you know, this is about four or five inches away. Now, I put it down, then I felt it do that. It felt it wanted to wanting to come near. Now, right about here is where the magnetic field stops. Sorry, all the way back here. So, I'm going to use my other hand so you can see it. But watch. From that far away, oh, even that far away, holy crap, that's really far. So all this way, I can feel it, how come it's not moving? See? We could really like make some uh, some uh, funny videos by uh, not letting people know, but this is some really strong magnets, so these are gonna have to be really held well in place. Um, Thirty-five pounds is what I think what they said they were. And I also wanted to show you the the magnetic field, so that's it in half. That's on uh, one pole. That's it in half, and that's on the other pole, and that's on its side. So, sort of weird. Oh, okay. It's going below and above, but the. It's weird, eh? Does it do? Does it. No, they both point up. That's weird. Maybe this is uh, my north side then. Gotta figure that out next. Alright, so I was trying to figure out what uh, pole this was. Um, what pole? Yeah! This was. And I uh, found this app. It's called um, N slash S Pole Determination. And uh, it works really good. So hopefully you can see that. I'll just bring it closer so you can't see it. Hopefully it doesn't mess with the camera. Ugh. Okay. So, just move it over a little bit. So, north. Now, it won't change usually when it's halfway. So, still doesn't change. Doesn't know what to do. Okay, so that means that it's the mid spot. See? Nothing. And now, go north. So I'm going to mark all of them like that. This is uh, a north pole motor, so I want to make sure that all of them are properly marked. All right, so all 12 of them are marked out. Oh, <laughs> don't want to get that part pointed. All right, so here's the program again. So it's saying north. That's what we got at this end. Flip it to the other way, says south. So now uh, the glue gun is all nice and hot and ready, and now to uh, get these stuck on. And just to show you, I just drilled a little hole on my bench, and now it's going to be easier to put all the magnets in place because it's all held in place. Nope, don't like that one. That's the beauty of this hot glue gun. And again, thanks Frank. My buddy Frank's been helping me out with a lot of stuff. Ah, just 
gets too cold too fast, it's like I should uh, put these uh, in some hot water first. Okay, so I've got two of them on so far. It took me a long time to get these two on. Um, they kept ripping off, um, so I made sure that I put a drop down right in the center where this line is, and then I pushed it down as quick as I could. They're not perfect, but they'll have to do until I, uh, until I hopefully eventually have brackets that I can just solder on, and that will hold them in pre place properly and square right on the thing, um, which wouldn't be that hard to, to bend, but you know that's still a lot more work. Um, so yeah, I covered it with glue on both sides, and I covered it underneath here, and so it's it's you know it's not moving that easily. So make sure if you're gonna do it that you uh, you definitely have uh, a lot glued down beforehand. Um, so yeah. All right, so now I got half of them done. And uh, what I've noticed, uh, if you're going to go the hot glue gun method, you'll want to have it pre-spaced out. You can't put it too close to the next one, or else um, you're going to have problems. It's going to try to click to it. And I have broken these neodymium magnets before, so um, that's a pretty big waste of, I think it was like five bucks a piece for something uh, for these. They're really expensive. So, um, yeah, so when you, here, I'll show you now that I've uh, almost perfected it. My hand will probably be in the way. So what I do here is I keep it here just in case, you know, when you're handling it, you'll be able to feel if it, if it pulls. And so it's better that if you just feel that it's pushing, that's a safer uh, motion. So, yeah, so my line is right there. And so... I gotta move it back so so I, I line it up perfectly and then I just hold it back above so this is already spaced out there evenly so you get a good big glob and you push it down fast and that gets you pretty uh, and then I let it rotate down and drop to the bottom. I try to get it all when it's hot. This one I'm not doing when it's all hot because uh, I'm trying to show you. So just make sure you don't touch them at all. So the whole point of hot gluing it now is later I will be um, just using that fiber tape. So I'll be back. Alright, so uh, now it's done. We have 12 magnets, two left over, um, and I need to get some fiber tape. Uh, get fiber tape and wrap it all the way around, and hopefully I've put enough glue. I might even, you know, I think I'm going to put up a, a second layer just in case. Some of them are, you know, just not enough. So, yeah, I'll just uh, put a pile extra glue on, and uh, it should be ready to go. And, uh, yeah, that should be it for this video.